Hello everybody and welcome to the vloggy thing, my series where I tend to be making up excuses about why I haven't been making videos. Today's excuse is because I've been cleaning out a basement. No, I don't mean a residential basement where, you know, you have to go down, you have to put a couple boxes in a pile over here, a couple boxes in a pile over there, and take out a few spider webs. No, I'm talking about the basement of an office building. Uh, the previous tenants who rented the entire building used the basement for junk for quite a few years. So they had piles and piles, I mean piles, of old computer boxes and server boxes, some of which I recognize. I guess I might spend a little too much time with computers. Uh, there were old desks. There was scrap wood stuff left over from when they re you know rebuilt the second floor and made it into like little offices and stuff like that uh there was also a bunch of stuff left over from the building itself because the building itself is like 200 no 100 100 120 years old somewhere around there uh, i don't know for 100 percent sure i haven't bothered looking it up yet but basically, it ended up the owners basically said, if you want to use it, go for it, as long as you clean it out. Basically, it was like buying a used car. You wants to clean out the dead bodies, it's yours. Didn't see any dead bodies down there, even though I really, really expected to. Um, there was a lot, and I mean a lot, of rat crap. And I don't mean in the metaphorical sense. I actually mean in the fecal matter filling a box kind of sense. Uh, so there was there was a lot of hints that there were animals living down there, but I didn't find any dead ones, which does kind of surprise me, honestly. I would have expected to see some kind of dead carcass down there, but whatever. Count myself as lucky on that one. Uh, so, I've been cleaning out that basement for the past month and a half. Probably be until the end of this month before I'm anywhere near done. Uh, but it's not even something as simple where I'm just throwing a few things out. Basically, what it got to was we had a 10-yard dumpster. And if you don't know what a 10-yard dumpster is, it is a dumpster that holds 10 cubic yards of stuff. Uh, so think like uh, ever so slightly more than a meter cubed and then 10 of them. So a, it wasn't a huge dumpster, but it was a large dumpster. And we had it completely full. And by completely full, I actually mean it was up to the top, but it didn't extend above the top because they wouldn't take it if it did. So we had it completely flat across this entire dumpster completely full of crap which was actually kind of impressive uh we did have a little bit of help though conveniently the first day we were throwing stuff into the dumpster some guy comes up and says hey if you got any scrap metal in there can we come and get it and you know it was in the dumpster we weren't going to use it so we're like yeah if you want it take it <laughs> it's yours if you're willing to jump in that dumpster and dig through it to get it go for it uh, so they probably pulled a good 300, 400 pounds of steel alone out of that thing. It, we had a lot of crap down there. A lot of leftover stuff. Um, I do plan on doing a video down there. Uh, at least one, probably quite a few others, considering what we're doing down there. But uh, I want to show off this one thing that we made while we were cleaning it out. Because it was so bad that we had to build something to help us clean it out. But that video is going to be for a later date. I'm trying to get the basement a little bit more presentable before I do the video. It's not going to be 100% clean, but it will be a shit ton better than it was when I first went down there. <laughs> Which is hilarious, because the first time that anybody had probably tried to clean that place in, mm, I'd guess, five years at least, it was me alone. 
Now, I did get help, but it took like a week before anybody actually had time to help. Oh, well. I'm happy that I'm actually doing this. But I do have several other videos that I've been planning on making. I just haven't had the energy to do it. Uh, basically, I've been doing, you know, 12, 18-hour days. And I really haven't had a day off. Except for those two days that I took off because I had a really serious cold. Uh, it wasn't my last video, but the video before that, uh, I actually still had the leftover cold. Which was far more noticeable in the video than I realized it was. But you might be wondering, well, if you haven't really had time or energy to do videos, why were you doing the Nerd Block and the Loot Crate videos? Well, it's because they're easy. Uh, they're, they have to be easy. Basically, you start recording, you open the box, and that's it. You have to keep going. No matter what happens, no matter what fails, you have to keep going. If you stop, you're screwed because you can't go back and do it again because the entire point is the surprise from pulling the things out of the box. So that's why they're easier. Uh, unboxing videos like that, like Loot Crate and Nerd Block, yeah. I'm going to mix them up at some point, I swear. I'm trying to not to. But those are easy videos because you kind of go through it, you have one take, and that's the video. You got nothing else. Whereas even this video here, I've done seven, eight attempts at starting it before failing miserably. Um, and then other videos that I do where I do like review stuff or video game uh, videos that you have to edit them and you have to do it right. And it's really hard and it takes time and it's lots of thought. And after lifting up several tons of crap in the past few weeks, I haven't really had the energy to do it. Today, I had a relatively simple day. I only had to take, well, I kind of should have probably done more, but it was a day where I could take it easy. I only took two heavy-ass bags of trash up to the dumpster on the fourth floor um, and move a couple of things around in the basement. I didn't do much else, so I had a relatively easy day. Tomorrow is going to be a hard day because we're actually going to start using the basement for what we want to use it for, uh, basically storage. But again, I'll get into more detail on that in another video. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to stop the video here before I ramble on, screw up, and have to restart the video all over again and do it for an eighth time, and I don't want to. So I will end it here. I will say see you guys in the next episode. And as always, keep playing the game and have fun.